Alright. Do some foremost so that they give all praises on and glory unto the most high Yahweh. But Shemia Ushai, but Shemia Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders that rule well at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akim out there, pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. Say shalom to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. You know, shalom to the nation of Israel. You know, I just come over this quick video really on on the body, you know, on the benefits of water, you know, vitamins and minerals and stuff like that, exercise and stuff, you know, and before I even get into it, I want to bring out this precept first, this is um, First Timothy chapter 4 verse 8, it says, for bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come, so we understand that, you know, living you know that slack yeah, but living in the in the physical world, you know, the most important thing you could do is actually worship the most high, keep the laws, such as and commandments, you know. Spiritual work is more import important than physical work. You understand? Getting your mind right is more important than getting your body right. You know? That is under that is understandable, you know. That the majority, majority of your time and effort is to be spent on your Bashim Yosha, you know, that is understandable. However, we still in the flesh, we still in these weak <laughs> bodies, and these weak bodies can't just survive over anything. You know, it have a certain way, you know, we have to take care of your bodies, you know. The scriptures talk about the herbs and stuff, you know, as medicine, you understand? You know, it have brothers in the truth. That you know, obese or diabetes or uh, things like that, you know, but as well exercise and to drink water though early, you know. Focus, give any kind of attention to the diet and you know. But as I said before, you know, we in the flesh and we on this earth. And you know, we not like we have the <laughs> celestial body yet now. Nah. You know, we still in these terrestrial weak ass bodies that susceptible. <laughs> To, to all kind of damage, you understand? Uh, mosquito could kill you, you know? So you just had to really take care of this physical body, you know? So I'm going to run through some some um, websites here, you know? I just have a quick lesson to edify the virgin on this session, you know? Now, I'm going to say why is water important? 16 reasons to drink up. It's, say, it's common to hear that water is essential for your health. But why? This substance makes up, so like a, this substance makes up a majority of your body weight and is involved in many important functions, including flushing out waste from your body, regulating body temperature, and helping your brain function. You get most of your water from drinking beverages, but food also contributes a small amount to your daily water intake. Right? It's a, it helps create saliva. Saliva um, includes small amounts of electrolytes, mucus and enzymes, which is essential for breaking down solid food and keeping your mouth healthy. So it regulates body temperature. Staying hydrated is crucial to maintaining your body temperature. Um, it protects your tissues, spinal cord, and joints. Water consumption helps lubricate and cushion your joints, spinal cord, and tissues. This will help you enjoy physical activity and lessen discomfort caused by conditions like arthritis. It helps excrete waste through perspiration, urination, and defecation. Right? Your body uses water to sweat, urinate, and have bowel movements. It helps maximize physical performance, it helps prevent constipation, it aids in digestion, you know. A lot of brothers, a matter of fact, not just brothers, Israel on a whole have a lot of problems with digestion. And the reason for this is because the foods we eat, we eat it, right? You know, you associate Jake with KFC, you understand? You associate Jake with fast food, you know, we do really take care of our bodies in any sort of way you know 
these these fools you know you look at this this whole um society this kingdom everything is messed up it have nothing in this kingdom but just go as it should and run as it should and one of those things is our that right jake eats whatever you know with no concern you know and being in these bodies it makes it even worse right a lot of brothers have constipation um acid reflux um indigestion you know a lot of brothers a lot of sisters too you understand and this is why you know you gotta drink water and it's it it helps with nutrient absorption helps you lose weight you know it have a lot of brothers that suffer from obesity and sisters sisters like it suffer from you know being overweight and as i say before you know we understand that the most the most I ain't gonna judge us piece of our physical you know our physical bodies or anything like that. We're gonna get judged of our works, our fate and what have we done? Right? And how did we prove that we stand with Yahweh Bashim Yoshai, right? That is what we will be judged on. That is the um the limiting factors. You know, but at the end of the day is Health is important, eating a good diet, drinking water, you know, making sure that your body is healthy is important. Right? Now I'm gonna say it improves blood oxygen circulation, helps fight off illnesses. You know? Um it helps boost energy. It aids in cognitive function. Proper hydration is key to stay in tip-top cognitive shape. Research indicates that not drinking enough water can negatively impact your focus, alertness, and short-term memory. It helps improve mood. Not getting enough water can also affect your mood. Dehydration may result in fatigue and confusion as well as anxiety. I know for the brothers out there that suffer with this demon, you know, myself included, that suffer with anxiety or you might suffer with depression or, you know, whatever attacking you you know i mean it's obvious here pray unto the move side right but one of the causes could actually be that you not drinking enough water you understand because you you know you your body does react to what you're eating you know if you if you put healthy um high vibration foods in your body you know you drink a proper and a good amount of water you know you fix your sleep pattern you know you exercise regularly you know your body will begin to operate at a, a better level you understand but if you yeah, again all the nutrients all the vitamins and minerals minerals you're supposed to get you know sleeping enough you know drinking enough water and you know, training it is easy you'll be more susceptible to fall into a depressive state or anxious state and then that could lead on to something else right um, it helps keep skin bright prevents overall dehydration right and see the bottom line water is important to nearly every part of your body not only will hitting your daily recommended intake help you maintain your current state of being it may even improve your overall health right so water is very important um go now to the to the vitamins and the minerals The vitamins and minerals are essential nutrients because they perform hundreds of rules in the body. There is a fine line between getting enough of these nutrients and getting too much. Eating a healthy diet remains the best way to get sufficient amounts of the vitamins and minerals you need. Every day, your body produces skin, muscle and bone. It churns out rich red blood that carries nutrients and oxygen to remote outposts 
and it sends new signals skipping along thousands of miles of brain and body pathways. It also formulates chemical messengers that shuttle from one organ to another, issuing the instructions that help sustain your life. A mouth skip the PCAT vitamins and minerals are considered essential nutrients because acting in concert they perform hundreds of rules in the body. They help show up bones, heal wounds and bolster your immune system. They also convert food into energy and repair cellular damage. Right, there's so many things here. Um, becoming blind from vitamin A deficiency. Scurvy, rickets. Um, combination of calcium, vitamin D, K, vitamin K, magnesium. Strong bones. Prevents birth defects, healthy teeth. Right. Uh, just read it from right here. This is theconversation.com. I'll check. Let's see. Um, minerals deficiency has been linked to increased depressive symptoms, and there's emerging evidence for zinc supplementation in improving depressed mood, primarily alongside antidepressants. Magnesium is also involved in many brain chemistry reactions, and deficiency has been linked to depressive and anxiety symptoms. So we see in here that, you know, everything that you need to heal your body is in the earth, you know, and scriptures see that, right? So, you know, it is important that you live a healthy life as we are in the flesh, you understand? We are in these bodies right now, and it's important for you to take care of your body, you know? And then the last thing we'll touch on really is exercise, and I'll just read this small piece here I say regular physical activity can improve your muscle strength and boost your endurance exercise delivers oxygen and nutrients to your tissue and helps your cardiovascular system work more efficiently and when your heart and lung health improve you have more energy to tackle daily chores I'm on read this as well it say improve your memory and brain function protect against many chronic diseases, aid in weight management, lowers blood pressure and improves heart health, improves your quality of sleep, reduces feelings of anxiety and depression, combats cancer related fatigue, improves joint pain and stiffness. You know so we see in here the regular exercise and proper diet right would aid in your physical and your mental health. You know? So you're good to take some time and, and, and you know invest some time into your mental health, your physical health. You know, invest, invest financially, and you know, um, buying a multivitamin, omega trees. You know, getting some herbs. You understand? It's good to invest in those things as well. You know, I hope this lesson was fine. Even though praises on and glory unto the Most High Yahweh, Bashim Yosha, Bashim Akadash. Hey, shalom.